And tell us what band you're in. Cool. Okay, I'm Lee. Clemmick. Chris, <laughs> Chris Brill. And we are in Armada. Okay, and um, what is Armada? Sort of give our viewers uh, a little bit of info about your band. Um, we are a collection of 20 odd year olds that uh, have previously done a lot of originals work and decided to just do covers. We found a lot of cover bands were of a certain age and that youngsters didn't really do it and the cover bands we went to see didn't really play all the music we wanted to listen to. So we were a kind of modern rock covers band and young trying to be like a proper band as, as well as a cover band. How did you guys form? Like, where did this all start? Yeah, it started with me and Steve, who have been in original bands before, and uh, we decided to start the, the whole covers thing. And we tried it before with other members, but then we found Claudio, the guitarist, the lead guitarist, and then sort of went from there. And uh, before we knew it, we was gigging. So, how did you meet to begin with? Like, how did you do you just friends, or did you meet through work, or did you advertise? Yeah, so they were just friends in the first place, so they yeah, just went from there. I found, oh, well, um, Dave at Creative Music Studios in Brentwood. Uh, I remember moaning to him one weekend saying, you know, I wouldn't mind doing giving covers a go, but there's no, no cover bands around that play my sort of music, and these guys were moaning for a singer, and uh, I think it just kind of hooked us up a bit, you know, yeah. gave us a number and then we just kind of went from there really, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, so you were already set up as band, you brought Lee in and sort of how did that first little bit go with your new vocalist who was sort of new to the band coming it in? Worked, it worked well with just, we developed quite a friendship at first and we mm. liked as a band so it all worked yeah. pretty, pretty natural. That was half the battle, getting on with everyone, but um, we're quite like-minded in what we want to do and musical taste and things like that and taking it fairly serious and things like that and yeah. uh, it, the music was so solid when I joined because you guys have been playing for a few like good going on six months or something yeah. that it was just like karaoke for me it was brilliant just turn up and sing my favourite songs really and then it got a bit hard when they started saying that's no, not good enough but <laughs> a little bit of work and it was all right. Okay, so I've seen you play, so I know a bit about what sort of songs you play and stuff, but obviously people watching this might not, so how would you sort of describe and what bands are you most happy playing sort of thing? No, I think our favourite numbers are probably uh, Foo Fighters, mm. uh, just because they're heavier numbers and we're all into heavier stuff, so... Yeah, we do a lot of, like, I mean, Killers suits some of us a bit better, Kings of Leon we do, we like doing... We do an odd few, like a few Muse and a few, like we do Biffy Clyro and stuff like that, which it just, it's like, it's pretty awesome because you just take like all your favourite bands and just find like the songs you like and you think everyone else will like and you just start playing them really. And we try not to do typical covers. Cool, yeah. right, what about if, if people want to see you, where are you going to be gigging in the future from now onwards? Are you going to build it up? Are you going to be starting playing more of your own original stuff? Or are you going to stick with the covers? No, uh, we've got a gig at um, Top House. Naively, uh, we there on the second of yeah. October. And we've got we've got about four or five books in Billericay and you know Stanford and places like that. We'll be gigging locally. I think we're gonna definitely start incorporating originals. Yeah. We have to to keep our own kind of you know creative juices flowing. Really, yeah. we've toyed around with it before, and we're all such different musicians from such different backgrounds that it's it, whether one will bring something different. Uh, it should work really well. It's gonna be like. Muse meets Rage Against the Machine yeah. kind of stuff, really. So have you been writing? Have you been recording? Things like that? Have you been in the studios? Just in rehearsals, really messing about a bit. Yeah. Isn't it? You know, we get our, we get our priorities right. We do all our covers and get all them done. Make sure everything's... Over it's basically if we have any time at the end. And yeah, just... and then we just riff out and yeah. shout over the top of it and stuff yeah. like that. But we've, we all work on our own individual stuff and we all have our own projects going on separately as well. I do myself like do a lot of music and... I know, like Claudio, he's got a lot of stuff going on with his like riffs coming up constantly, isn't he? He's got all, he's got back catalogue full. So. Have you had any obstacles to overcome yet as a band? Not really. Um, just carrying the stuff from the car, really. <laughs> that's the start. <laughs> it's who's delegating? That's all we've been doing, really. No, it's been it's been so it's been a, it's Yeah, been we just so invested in a, in a PA, and that's been a bit. That's expensive. Yes. Yeah, it's been quite difficult, isn't it? But it's, yeah. it's good that we've got it now. We're going gonna, to gonna be gigging with good gear now, so that's the main yeah. thing, you know? What about fan base? 
basically you <laughs> and uh, family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Family. We haven't, we haven't really had any. I mean, like we've got like. Obviously, every every member's got their own life, and they've got a lot of people. We've all got a lot of individual people that we bring along to most gigs. You know, either be family or friends. So most of them are still family and friends, but they're starting to branch out now. Yeah. I mean, the more we give, the you know, once we start giving like regular pubs and stuff, it'll be yeah. be a lot better because people would know. It'd be nice there. to see like regulars every week mm. when we're playing. That'd be that'd be brilliant. Definitely. What's your favourite song to play? Do you reckon? And mine's probably uh, uh, Pretender, maybe, by Foo Fighters. Um, I don't know. There's, I've got a few. I, I didn't even know this song before. I mean, I wasn't the biggest Kings Leon fan, but, I mean, we played California Waiting, and I've never really heard much of it before at all. And I just think that's... Well, the way we play it, I, I don't know. I just I love playing that song. It's probably because I don't really know it as much, and I've got no proof, like, you know, perception of what it should sound like until I joined the band, so... We come in and played that, that's probably my favourite, because it feels like it's our own really, and it's, it's a pretty good song. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to say on camera for future um, reference? As long as we have my space. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's good, what con how do people listen to you or c get details about how to yeah, go to gigs and we're stuff? We're on all sites of social networking except from Twitter. Um, we're on Facebook, uh, just search Armada Cover Band, and we're on myspace.com. I'm um, uh, forward slash I'm Arda Colour Band. Yeah. And so, same YouTube. And we've got a YouTube channel, um, which is just us that are fans of it at the moment, but I'm sure that'll branch out. That's basically so we can upload stuff onto those, both of those, but just search I'm Arda Colour Band's YouTube. It's all just forward slash I'm Arda Colour Band. Okay, so you're recording right. an EP. Can you tell us a bit about it? Oh, um, yeah. Um, basically, it's, we're recording at, at Creative Music Studios. I'm engineering it. And uh, we just kind of self funding it, just like paying for it by. As we go along, we got the drums done in a day, which was pretty nice, wasn't it? Yeah. It's about five tracks, uh, our favourite tracks. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've got them um, bass down. That only took like a few hours, to be honest. And guitars down. <laughs> and uh, just got uh, vocals to go and rhythm guitars to go. But Is this like original stuff or is this cover no, still? No, this is all covers. We're producing it. Like, I'm, I'm producing it myself, like using all my expertise. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I can't say.